Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to prevent Google from misunderstanding your request and instead turning on all the lights in your house. Tell me the weather. Okay, turning 32 things on. Let's first go over how to prevent Google triggering all of your lights turning on or off, and then we will go over what you can do to trigger all of your lights in the event of you actually needing to turn all of your lights on or off. Take note that in order for this to work, you must have a light assigned to any Google Home room that also has a Google Assistant assigned to it. To get started, go into the Google Home app and click on Routines. Next, click on the plus sign on the bottom right hand side of the screen. From here, click on Add Starter. On the new screen that opens, select Voice Command. Next, put in the box, turn on all the lights. After, click on Add Another. In the new voice command box, enter turn off all the lights. And then click on add starter on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Next click on add action. Here you can decide what Google will do when it thinks it hears, or actually hears, turn on all the lights, or turn off all the lights. For me, I'm going to pick communicate and announce. And then say something. This lets you have Google say whatever you want. For this routine, I'm going to have Google say something cute and cheeky. Clicking done twice will bring us back to the main routine creation page. Once the routine is all set, you can click on save to finish. In this routine, the same action is taken whether Google thinks it heard to turn the lights on or off. But if you wanted to have different actions, you could simply break up the one routine into two. With the way things are set up, if I wanted to turn on or off all the lights at once in my house, it would not be possible. So to fix that, I'm going to create two additional routines. Following the same process, I'm going to first create a routine that will trigger when I say I really need all of the lights turned on. For this routine action, I'm going to select Try Adding Your Own, which allows for you to make any action as if you were speaking to your Google Home. So for this, I'm going to simply put Turn On All the Lights. Once all done, clicking on Save will finish the routine. Now let's create a third routine for turning off all the lights. For this routine, the voice command starter will be I really need all of the lights turned off. Just like with the previous routine, we'll be using our own action with the command of turn off all the lights. With all three of the routines set up, let's test them out. Turn on all the lights. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Turn off all the lights. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I really need all of the lights turned on. Okay, turning 32 things on. I really need all of the lights turned off. Okay, turning 31 lights off. Great! All three routines work as expected, and I no longer have to worry about all my lights accidentally being turned on when Google misunderstands what I said. Keep in mind that if you have multiple people in your home, you'll need to set up these routines under each Google account in the Google Home app for them to work properly. If you have any other ideas for a Google Home routine, I'd love to hear about them, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, so YouTube knows that you liked it and that it should show it to other people. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first to know when I release other tech and smart home related videos just like this one. Thank you for watching.